Hello everyone, it's Julie from Camellia Cross Designs. Welcome back to my channel. Right, I'm here today with, uh, yeah, a project that took me a long time to decide on because I had one of those days where you just don't know what to do. So, yeah, I've titled this one Using Up Your Dodgy Digitals. So, yeah, I can't be the only one and I know I'm not the only one because other people have said this before in the comments. I print out far too many digitals. I print them out wonky, I print them out wrong, I print them out when my printer's running out of ink and they just don't turn out properly, like these have got lines on, and then, yeah, I've got too many, basically. So what I'm going to do today, rather than make, like that one, beautiful Artemis, that side's printed out perfectly. But for some reason, on the other side, I've printed out another beautiful arty maze, but it's green. It so does not go with that. So I wouldn't use that sheet anywhere. I'd perhaps collage with it or glue it to something else, which I'm going to do now. So rather than glue that to some cardboard, I'm going to use up some of these really dodgy di digital, I can't say it, dodgy digitals like these with lines on, I'm going to use that as a centre page, not a centre page, I'm going to sandwich it between two other digitals. So that's going to be the front. That, yeah, that, that's far too dark. So again, I wouldn't use that on anything, it's far too dark. I was playing about with colour saturation, really didn't like that. So that's going to go there. We've got a dodgy one in the middle that's no good to man nor beast. We've got that on the back, and that is going to be a journal card. Do I like that one on the back? Or do I... See, I'm already changing my mind. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, look at that one, though, with lines. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, 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 she says. That goes with that lovely. So I'm changing my mind already on the back one. I'm going to use that one. So, yeah, again, I don't know whether I'd use them two together. So... This is now my new sandwich. I hope I'm not faffing about with me and making a mess of me. Where am I? There I am. <laughs> so that's going to be the front. That's going to be the back. And I'm going to glue all these together and I'm going to make some journal cards or tags. So yeah, so as you can, I've got a fair stack from all sorts of different creators. And yeah, I need to get using them up. So this is the way in which I'm using these ones today. Now I'm using my cheaper glue stick. This is just a cheaper one from Amazon. They really are top of the bucket full. And I intend sewing around the edge of these. So I'm not going to town on the glue. I don't know why we've got elevator music. And I don't know why I've just got that all over my thumb. Baby white time. Yeah, I decided I, I didn't like this glue stick. I tried it because I saw another YouTuber use it and like it, but I don't. So there you go. It's getting used up for projects that, yeah. Yeah. So this is our middle one. So I'm going to line up the corner. I'm not too bothered if it's not perfect because I'm going to be trimming the edges because as you can see we've got the white edges so that's those two together if I'd have, again if I'd have used some forethought and planning I may have got my brayer out but yeah me and forethought and planning are not best friends we don't often go hand in hand so in fact, do you know what I might do? I might make a couple of these, glue them together. Then I can have one under my mat, laying flat with the glue drying, ready to run through the sewing machine. And then I'll pause while I run one through the sewing machine. Right, that's an either way up. And I think three layers of this paper with the glue will make this stiff enough for a journal card. But it won't be overly thick. And this one, again, can be something that is going to my future mystery butterfly project. Well, it's not a mystery, it's just a journal. But I am making the ephemera before I actually put the journal together. 
train it back to front for a change there you go so we've got a little bit of a curl going off so this is what i always do i love my big a2 mat that's oh yeah that's wreck joint while we're at it that's going under there so i'm now going to pick another one that's a nice background yeah i don't know what happened there i think i double printed that that actually could be used on its own that one could that one could that one could <laughs> that one's all dodgy so but that would be good in the back i could cut that up and make two giant journal cards so yeah i like that one that's a contender craft a lunch i've just knocked a glue bottle off they're half pages you will recognize these if you watch that quick junk journal i made again that i could run that through my printer and put something on back i think that's what i decided to do with some of these but then i forgot i decided to do it that's not uh, unheard of with me is it what's that that is a piece of card no it's not aha that's a piece of card piece of paper Ooh. do you know there's actually some decent pieces in here i didn't realize that i just want one that i can use to cut up the journal cards I know I'm not letting you see the full extent. That's, oh, they'd cut up nice, wouldn't they? In fact, they're perfect to cut up. They're already journal cards, so they might be a bit boring. What's that one? That's a piece of one. That one, that could make something on its own. Oh, we've got those again. That's some, um, oh, that's just a single sided someone asked me last time i showed these where they were from it's from my porch prints journal words yeah and within the journal words kit there are these blank ones to put your own journal words on so oh, that's one of my that's one of my really really simple basic digitals i might stick that one on me uh, buy me a coffee as well it's just some butterflies and coffee stains I'm no, I'm very basic with my digitals. Oh, that could make the back of one. I think that other one might be dry, but time I've done faffing here. I don't know if I've even got any more that would make a good front in this stack. I think we may have to. Oh, that's quite pretty. It's portrait, but it doesn't matter, does it? Because yeah i didn't like that back that will make a good one <clears throat> not even sure where these are from they may have been off a cd that i've got i've got a lot of old crap oh look at those world maps and then i put clocks on back the world maps will like make fabulous bases for journal cards i'm going to do that one that one would be good again Yes, they are, they're just dodgy digitals, these. Misprints. I think there's some plain ones, though. There's no dodgy about them. I just need to put them with the right thing. Wishes come true. Right, I'm going to do this map one, because we can spend all day looking through that. That's going to make some fabulous journal card backgrounds. I'm going to sandwich that in the middle, because I don't like it. And I'm going to use I'm going to use that as the back. The colours go together lovely, and then I can make two giant journal cards out of this map page. Yeah, that's a good idea. So let's start. Get some glue on this one. Am I in shot? Yeah. I'm trying to zoom in a little bit more sometimes on my videos so you can see a bit better. But then I'm <laughs> really bad at forgetting where the frame is and i can't even mark me mark because it moves it moves around right this is the center one so it don't matter which way up that goes line up my corner there we go Yep, 
yeah this will make some nice ones this one as well it will go with any theme we don't want the clocks but we do was there a right way up to that other side yes that's the top so that's the top so we want the top of the map there yeah <coughs> Excuse me. Flossing time. Got to put one in for this video. It's unbelievable how dry your throat gets making these videos. Right, so that's that one. Let's see if the other one's ready. Oh yeah, that's looking a lot flatter now. We'll put that one under desk. Under desk, under mat, on desk. Right, oh, that's much better. So I'm going to come in with my chopper and I'm going to chop this up for journal cards. You can see natural places, oh dear, where that's going to, I'm going to cut it down that line. I've just got to enter, but first I'm just going to cut this white edge off. So that's that done. I'm going to cut down there. That poor butterfly lost tip of its wing. I don't know how that happened. But again, the world will not end. That's that white edge. Yeah, you can see these are already stiff enough to be a journal card. Or a tag but these are asking to be journal cards aren't they that one's gonna get cut there let's have a look at that I need some more off there <clears throat> because it's very it looks wonky even though it's not it probably wasn't uh, printed completely straight in my printer so it needed to straighten up so that that looks straight. And now I'm just going to straighten the other edges. Because I do like mine to be square. I then want to use it as a pocket rather than a journal card. It would really annoy me that it was really wonky and not square. But seeing as these were languishing in a box doing nothing, I like that now. When that's got some sewing on, it'll look lovely. Right, this one I'm going to cut again and make two. They'll either be journal cards or they'll be tags. I want to get that flower on most of it and that one. There we go. So that's two there. Now we've got to keep the whole of that butterfly, I think. Unless we could cut there. Let me see whether I could do that. I'm just going to grab my tea ruler we could we could cut there and keep the two butterflies and that'd be a nice journal card size yeah that's what I'm going to do I'm going to keep the bottom two butterflies and cut off that cabbage white yeah so just make sure that's straight yeah cut the white off yeah, I like that one. So we'll get the white off this and then I'm going to cut this one down the centre again and it will then become two journal cards or tags. And I think I want to cut it there. Yeah, there. Yeah. Right, so that's all chopped up. That's all our bits. You can then decide if you're going to decorate these more or leave them as they are. I mean, some of them, I think, once you've got a tab on and some sewing around, they're just not going to need anything else because Artie Mays has done all the collaging for us. Right, which ones are going to be journal cards and which ones are going to be tags? That needs to be a journal card. So does that. 
I don't even know which way up that one needs to go now. That could go anywhere really. I think that one needs to be a tag. So I'm going to come in and get my little plastic card and I'm going to shape the top to make it into a tag before I sew it. So that's the tag shape. That could be a chunky tag, but that one's more of a that's more of a tag shape. Let's make a tag out of that one. Which way up does that writing go? Is it that way? Yeah. That's going to be the top of the tag. Oh, I've left some white there. I'll come in and cut that off. I never thought to check the other side when I was cutting the white off. So I'll just bring the chopper out. If it was a smaller bit of white, I could have just let it get cut. I could have inked it to cover it. So that's that. That one's fine. That one's fine. That one needs a bit more off. Yeah, that one's fine, and that one needs a little smidgen on. Let's turn it that way around so we know which bit, how much we need to cut off. So that's that. So yeah, get rid of these. In the bin, well in the carry bag. My bin is a carry bag on gone my door handle. Right, so what we've got, we've got two tags and four journal cards, all from some dodgy A4 sheets and a pretty one and a lined one. So I'm going to come in and do a little bit of inking on those. Remembering that I've got a new Distress Ink that is obviously very slippery. Yeah, this walnut stain matches that colour that Artie Mays uses on this kit. Lovely. It's the walnut stain distress oxide. Yeah, that's that. I think I could come in and embellish these a little bit further with some more butterflies. Do I want to round? How do you know I do? I'm inking these and I've decided I want to round corners. Yeah, look much better. The rounded corners, you can see that's not stuck properly, but we're sewing it so it doesn't matter. Yeah, I do, I like those much better with rounded corners. I'm just using the small, am I using the small one? Oh, I'm using the 7mm one, the medium one. a rattle mess now with this bits of paper all over <clears throat> I'm not going to round those because those are the tags I don't think they need it does that want to be a jerk that wants to be a tag it really does I've decided but now I've gone and round at bottom cut no it wants to be a journal card could be worse it could want to be a cabbage <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't do all of that. Go on, little card. I'm struggling with this because there's not much glue on that corner. Yeah, that's better. It still needs a little bit tidying up. There we go. So they're going in the floor bin. And we'll crack on with some more inking. I'm not going to ink the backs now, I'll do that after. Oh, that's so quick when I need juicy ink pad. So we've got quite a deeply inked edge on that's already there on this digital. Can you see? Oh, it would have took me for, age, for a ages or forever. For ages. That's a new one. To get these matching with my old dried up ink pad. I 
Yeah. <laughs> I, I hope when I put this video up and I title it using it with dodgy digitals, uh, no one takes a friend. So I don't, I mean, dodgily printed, not <laughs> not dodgy as in, it, ooh, they're not, not very good. Yeah, it's, I have a lot of dodgy printed digitals. I started printing wirelessly as well and I get half a page printed out quite often. I don't know why that is. Something to do with wireless, I think. Right, so that's those. Before I do any sewing, I'm going to decide what tabs I'm putting on. Because I may want to... Hmm, no, I'm going to do the sewing first. And then I'll put the tabs on after, I think. I'm going to use uh, some card tabs. Or shall I use some lace tabs? We'll use card tabs. So I'm just going to pause two ticks while I sew. And I'm back. Right, I've sewn around all these. Yeah, I've done a mixture of straight stitch and a bit of zigzag on some. Uh, others I've just gone straight stitch all the way around. Just whatever I felt. So I'm now back with, I've got my butterfly fussy cuts. I've got my tubs with my various tabs in. And I've got a random bag of lace. So I'm just going to zhuzh some of them up a little bit. So I'm just going to use lace, tabs and butterflies. Right, a couple of them don't really need anything on other than tabs. Right, that one, I don't think that needs anything other than a tab. And although it is landscape that way, I'm going to put the tab on the side. Yeah, because that's going to be ideal to go into a side pocket on a journal pocket or an altered envelope so I'm going to grab a tab check the size no not that I don't think I want small either I want medium I've done these in three sizes these are the ones I designed myself on my Cricut to mimic a popular tab style <laughs> because you can't get hold of that punch for love no money Where's the ink gone? Yeah, I'll use this medium size on it. I'm just going to pop this on the side and then that one will be done. I'll stick them on with dark glitter. Aha, we had a craft lunch early which involved dark glitter glue. Here it is. It was on the floor. It had fallen down onto an open drawer so I didn't have to reach onto the floor for it. So the granny grabber wasn't required. So that is going to go there. Yes. I've not folded that tab properly. It looks better from that side. Yeah. That's that. I'm just going to pop that under edge of my mat while that holds out of the way. This one, I think this needs a butterfly on it. We've got all these lovely flowers, but I think it needs a butterfly. And because we've got cabbage whites on others, I think that one might be a bit big, actually. I've, every, I've explained before, every white butterfly in my world is a cabbage white. Who knew? Whether it's a moth, oh, I like that. I like him. I think he needs some inky edges, though. Yeah, I'm working my way through that... Uh, Butterfly and moth book I've got. I keep filling this up with different fussy cuts. Where does he want to be? No, I didn't stand out enough, does he? And then I've also got some Artie Mays butterfly fussy cuts. Is that the same butterfly she's used on here? No. It's a cabbage white one, as I call it. I think I might have some of the... Oh, look at that one. That one's nice. Again, we need something really pale. Uh, we've got a big one of... Oh, that's actually from the book. That's just far too big though, isn't it? I like that one, but it's far too big. Oh, oh what about this double one? Hmm, no. No, they might go on journal card nice. 
Oh, what about this one? Yeah, that one. I didn't already have one of them, yeah. It, it must have not uh, floated my boat first time, though. And I'm going to put a tab on the top of this one as well. You never know, at a later date, I might put a bit of bling on this butterfly. I might decide that's what it needs. But for now, I think, yeah, that needs a big tab. This has already had a bit of ink on at some point. I've got the, uh, oh, look at that. I've never known this glue to volcano. It's very warm in here, though. I've been very cold today. Alexa said it was 10 degrees. That's 10. I don't know what degrees we use in the UK, but they're not the same as yours in the US. So, no. Freezing is zero in our degrees, what we use. <laughs> so... Yeah, but it's no way we're at 10. I think it was more like zero. So I put heating on. But then later on, I did think, yeah, maybe she were right with 10 degrees. And I got very hot. Yeah, he's going there. So now it's, I think the glue's telling me, yes, it's very warm. So, yeah, my poor gas bill. Hmm. I think he needs he needs to go further up he needs to look like he's landed on the flowers yeah that's it that's where he needs to go we're liking him there so i'm just going to pop that under edge of my mat as well while the tab sets i can take the other one out now yeah that's that one right what next this one this is quite plain to be honest that needs a flower but I really don't fancy fussy cutting any flowers. Again, I can add one at another date. Yeah. What's this need? I've got lace out and I don't think they need that lace. There's white lace in. They don't need lace. That's going. They just need a few extra flutter buys. And then we're done. Have we got one big enough to use this giant butterfly on? Oh. Ooh. Ooh. I think he might look good on there. I really do. But then it might need another one on as well. We've got a small same butterfly, I bet we haven't. We haven't. If I had another teeny tiny cabbage Y, I'd like that. But I don't. Hmm. What about just two completely different butterflies? Oh, look at those two. Mm, no, don't like him. What happened to other two? I had. Do we think? Is that too many butterflies? No, it ain't. I like it. I'm putting them on. New motto: You can never have too many butterflies. Yeah. Because they're all. Neutral coloured butterflies. I think they go together well. Got anything? Yeah, definitely. They fit there lovely. They were made for it. So. So, yeah, if... If you've got any dodgy digitals, or even if you want to make some journal cards, I think it's a much more inexpensive way of making them than using card, which can be quite expensive. I mean, these really, it, the three sheets of copy of paper, yes, they're printed on. So if you've got a printer, there are lots of designers out there who do free digitals. I know Artie Mays, for one, has got some gorgeous free digitals on her group and her website. She's very generous with her freebies, which I always think that's a good idea, me. Uh, <laughs> says me, I don't, yeah, I have one free digital, <laughs> don't sell any digitals. But I'm much more inclined to buy from creators who have given some away free so I get an idea of what the qu 
quality of the work. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So that that was how I first decided I liked Artie Mazer's digitals. I downloaded some free ones off her group when I joined group. Right, what? I'm just wondering what tab size tab I want. I think the big one's too big. And again, I think it needs to go on the right hand side. I want the medium one. I'm wondering it. I always want the medium one, and I think I may have run out. I may have just used my last medium size one. These are all big ones and little ones. Oh, you silly woman. Oh, is that a medium one? No, that's a big one. They're little. That's big. Oh, medium. Found one. It's a slightly different colour though, but hey ho, that don't matter. I need to get out of my matchy matchy. Do you know what I'm fancy doing? Everyone seems to be doing, a lot of people have done them. I know Tanya's just an absolutely gorgeous journal. In fact, I don't think she's finished it yet. Out of junk mail. Uh, she was following along with one that uh, is the bee. Is it is it be craft creations did? Oh, and it's stunning. Yeah, that needs to go right hand side. And I do save all my junk mail. I'm just one of these. It's not that I'd rather buy new things because I've been a crafter for such a long time and a hoarder for well, probably longer. And I've been into card making, mini album making. I've got loads of stuff. And I tend to delve into my own stash of stuff. And, yeah. So I don't tend to use junk mail so much when I've got a huge stash of brand new envelopes that have been sat there for like 20 years. But, yeah, I really fa I do like the look of it. So I fancy making some out of junk mail. So, yeah, watch this space. That will be coming up at some point. Right, we've got three left to decorate. What we're going to do on them? Um, that one we're not much colour on. I think that needs a colourful butterfly. But I think we need, still need to keep this colour theme. No, he's too orange. She says, I'm going to end up sticking a cabbage white on again. I am, I just know it. I am, I'm just going to stick a boring... Well, not boring. I'm just going to stick a white butterfly on. I'm already looking for a white butterfly. They just go so well. Who would have thought Artemisia's butterflies go so well on Artemisia's digitals? <laughs> what a coincidence, eh? <laughs> Not. <laughs> yeah, he looks good on there. That's where he's going. And I think this one needs the tab at the top. I'm going to have another one. Oh, I found a medium one. Need, really need to get my cricket out and cut some more of these out. I keep threatening to cut a load out and put them in the shop, but I've got to be honest with you, it's so boring. It's that waiting for your cricket to cut stuff out. Oh. I shouldn't really say that, I sound really that ungrateful. People who'd love a cricket would be like, oh, listen to her. But it takes forever. And I don't know, I'm like a cat on an opt-in roof. I don't like sitting still doing no. And mine, because I've got old mats, if you take your eye off it for one second, the mat moves and then it starts cutting the mat instead of cutting what it's supposed to be cutting and it all goes belly up. <laughs> and it's like, ah! Right, I'm going to hold this on with a paper clip because I've put the tab on before sticking the butterfly on. So that shall hold it, yes. Now we'll stick the butterfly. And I'm sorry if that clip's reflecting because it is dark when I'm filming this. A little bit on his tail. Yeah, he's going there again as though he's just landed on the flowers. Yeah. We like him. We'll pop him to one side while he dries. So we've got these two. I think I want the small tabs on the tags. 
Yes, indeed, I do. Got a small dark. Oh, another medium one. I can't find a medium one for life for me. Five minutes ago, now they're everywhere. But I do think I want small ones. Let's have a look, see. But then again, I like the colour of them. Yeah, medium it is. Look it up. Yeah, other thing with tabs is the cost effectiveness of them. I mean, at minute, I don't have a lot of brown card left. I tend to use it for the um, spools when I, for the eyelash trim I sell in my shop. And the last time I went to buy some A4 craft card, if anyone knows where it's cheaper, please let me know. The one I'd bought before off Amazon had gone up from four ninety nine to seven ninety nine. I'm like shocker. That's not, well, it's not double, but it's that's whoa. That's what's that? Four ninety nine to seven ninety nine. So that's like five pound to eight pound. That's like that's like a sixty percent increase. I know that. Is not an exact percentage, but it's in that ballpark, and it's like, whoa! And at that, I know why it is. And another YouTuber I watch mentioned it a reseller that I watch, uh, he'd had trouble with something because he'd heard there's a shortage of cardboard. And I encountered this uh, a few months ago when I tried to replace some of the cardboard envelopes I, I use for my shop. There is a shortage of cardboard. So I'm thinking that's why craft card has increased by that astronomical amount. So yeah. Reason 26. Not to be using, not to be having to buy cards. Try and use what you've got. Copy of paper. Took them a bucket full. I buy mine from Asda, something like £3.25 for 500 sheets. It gets delivered along with me. Shopping. Yeah. Baked beans, loaf of bread, pack a copy of paper. <laughs> it's very handy. Right, so that's that one. I was looking for something to hold that down and then I didn't use anything. I'll take out the two that are under the mat and I'll put that one under. I'll take the clip off that one because it's now stuck and I'll pop it on there. Uh, he's got a butterfly. I don't even think this one may not need anything at all to be quite honest. So we've got those two. We've got that one. That one didn't have anything. I don't think he needs anything. It's this one that needs something. So let's put the clip on that one to hold it and put that one under the mat. We've just got this one left that needs some kind of flutter by on him. And seeing as we've still oh, got an orange one there, do we have an orange one very similar to that? If we do, but look at the size of him. Do you think that fits on there? What do you reckon? Do you think he's a bit big? Yeah, I reckon. So, ooh, what about him? He's quite similar, but he's got a lot of white round edge. There's only so many. Well, you'd think there's only so many butterflies in Britain. There's a lot more than I realised when I started chopping this book up. Yes, cutting books up. Sorry if that offends some people. <laughs> ooh. Yeah, ugh. If you look into how many books get destroyed and pulped in this country every week, you'd be disgusted. So, any way I can use them, I'm quite happy. No, there isn't another butterfly that matches him. He's about the closest, but I don't like him on there. He just doesn't seem to go. What about that one? He's a moth and he's too big. He's far too big, so I'm going to stick with the white one. Am I going to stick with that same old white one because it looks good and matches the rest? Do you know what? I am. So, 
you could even make this by I'm sure Artemis has got I'm sure these are a freebie so you could make these she's got lots of very similar collage pages to this one could even be a freebie I'm not sure so I know I bought a lot of her collage pages and I have downloaded a lot of her freebies and I tend to a lot of her kits mix and match really nicely so I tend to mix and match them and then my leftovers I'm not quite sure which kits they've come from she has got such a distinctive style though that's how I know that they're hers yeah he's going at bottom right so let's take a look with what we did at what we did i'm quite pleased with these they were quite quick and easy and everything was made from stuff i'd already got i mean the tabs you can make these from a circle you know if you get i'm not going to do it because i ain't got a circle to hand but if you fold a circle in half and just cut yeah you can do it you can do it right put the pin back in my glue before it gets lost so there we have from three sheets of copy of paper a couple of them printed on we've now got what did we say four journal cards and two tags can you even see them are they in shot probably not and i can't see yeah we've got three journal cards and two tags and i'm pretty pleased with how they turned out yeah and i hope that were a quick project if you do it waffle free you'll have it done in half the time yeah so really enjoyed those something different so yeah get well thank you very much for joining me and i will see you next time i'll be back with a new project tomorrow uh, before I finish my Alice, because you know I'm waiting on a few supplies, I've got a new project I'm going to be starting. I'm going to be back to show you the kit that I'm going to be using. So, thank you very much for joining me, and I'll see you next time. Bye.